On 20 May 2015, a boat landed on the shores of East Aceh. On it were 400 people from Myanmar and Bangladesh, who had been at sea for four months. Mohammed, a Rohingya from Myanmar, was among them. Mohammed risked everything, including a boat trip at the hands of the smugglers. Rafiq, a 12-year-old boy, was briefly taught how to navigate the boat. Then the smugglers abandoned the boat. In the midst of their despair, the engine broke down. The boat drifted for two weeks. Those who spotted the boat sent food and water, but the refugees and migrants could not come ashore. Finally, some help came. Indonesian fishermen ferried them to Aceh. Kita memang selaku manusiawi ya, kita memang perlu kita tolong orang itu, memang orang itu membutuhkan pertolongan. Apalagi kita pernah merasakan lebih dulu kita ditolong orang. Karena semasa kita di Aceh ini kena tsunami, musibah tsunami, kita lebih dulu ditolong orang. Apalagi yang kita tolong itu orang kita satu agama. The refugees and migrants were in poor health. Most were undernourished, some were dehydrated. Others had fever and diarrhea. Here, they are being cared for by the government of Indonesia and the local community. Many, like Muhammad, don't know what lies ahead. Local generosity and government support have saved hundreds of lives. But hundreds more souls are at risk at sea all desperate for a chance at a better life.